Hello and welcome to LCS Recap Worlds, and it's the bottom of the group Gaming Gear EU versus SK Telecom T1. But Spyro does react. He's going to get locked in. This oh, is going to no. surely be first blood. Exhaust was used. He's trying to give it to Piglet. He will give it to Piglet. First blood SK Telecom. NBS is found in his jungle and gets chased down by Bengi's Aatrox. Go no. aggressive on NBS. Lightning Surge will come out. That's going to put a lot of damage down on Bengi. Like you mentioned, he has got it, but oh. Blood Price is on. Barrel. Barrel comes in. Baker picks up a kill. Then after Pumandu is caught up on top, NBS is the victim of a chase once again. Or is it? may turn this one around. Deadly Brother wants to get himself a kill and he will. Deadly Brother gets that one. NBS flashes away. Bengi gives chase. Red Buff is on him. He should be able to dive and catch on towards NBS. Meanwhile, he's running into Baker. Three man close on towards him here. Will he escape? Oh, not quite caught by that slow. May have escaped here, you know. I think he snuck around, ran the full circle around the SKT players, and it almost seemed like everyone on SKT thought someone else was going to finish off the kill. They didn't get the turret or the cannon. Great escape. Great. But perhaps, predictably, Gaming Gear is slipping behind and Piglet's micromanagement shines through. ...able to close as long as they are executing precisely. Deadly Brother just getting locked up. Didn't get taken out in the end, though, though. Piglet trying to put some damage down. We do see Cataclysm going good. Piercing arrow onto Piglet. Has to be flashing away from that one. Elinir wants to finish him off. Has he got the damage? Oh, the Grasping Roots doesn't land. It will be Inspiro getting the kill, but now he's in all sorts of trouble. Bengi comes in. Mandu will pick himself up. A double kill. Mandu is tired of feeding all the kills to pick. Gaming gear just don't gain any ground, especially when the potential for follow-up for SKT's crowd control is so great. Pain right Deadly here. Brother almost certainly going to be the focus of target. That threw it down to half hit points already. Faker desperately trying to set up. Chain of Corruption comes out. Shockwave goes with it. Piglet did manage to avoid the damage, though. Got out of there. Oops. There's Faker with his ultimate. That blows them all backwards. Deadly Brother's going to run back to the fountain. There goes the inhibitor turret. SK Telecom continuing to push on through. Impact using that taunt to try and draw Gaming Gear into a fight, but instead it's not going to happen. It's going to be a clean exit for SK Telecom. Methodical play there. So far in Worlds, in every single game, the team who loses the first inhibitor loses the match, and it doesn't seem that this will be breaking any of those premonitions. He's trying to slop in. That's going to be the Sunlight Fire Ooh. knock up. They're going to lock in there. Alan is going to be the focus. Cataclysm comes out. Shockwave tries to land. Does get Bengi's passive, but that's all they're going to get. No, MBS does finally get the kill on him, but that's one Nexus to it down. SK Telecom, they're backing out. SK Telecom. SKT come back to the base a few minutes later, destroying inhib number three and getting another point in the group. They don't care about that because this Nexus turret is their final target. They slam on in there. Alinir locked up. Shockwave pulls in three members. We're going to see the Stranglethorns bouncing through them up. But look at that. Faker goes in. MBS gets wrecked straight down by Piglet. That's going to be the Nexus turret going down. The Nexus will follow. SK Telecom will be taking victory here in game eight of the day up against Gaming Gear. 26 minute victory there for Faker and crew. Only 203 on Gragas. So a very controlled game there by SKT. They're definitely trying to lay low a little bit as they move into the quarterfinals. We know the eventual goal of them was not just moving out of the group stage, which they are guaranteed to do so. It was to win the season three world championship. And this is just. Thank you for watching LCS Recap Worlds. My name is Ben Forbes. Did you have a favorite group? Was it group A or group B? Let me know in the comments and feel free to send me a message on YouTube, a tweet on Twitter or a wall post on Facebook.